Hello, my name is Michael Steven Salinas. I decided to go for the creation of an art piece, a painting, in which I was inspired by Frida Kahlo and Vincent van Gogh. Frida Kahlo was born in Mexico, July 6, 1907, and she died in July 13, 1954. She inspired me because she used to make self-portraits of her own life, which she expressed her pain. And in many other paintings, she could also express the life that she had with Diego Rivera, which was her husband. In 1925, Frida Kahlo was involved in a accident where she broke her back, spinal column, some rapes, and she almost died. In 1944, she painted the broken column. This paint is one of the best paintings where she expresses all her pain that she was living. She did an amazing job painting her column, broken down pieces. Also, in this paint, you can see nails along her body. And uh, this represents the physical pain she was enduring and the tears that you can observe expresses this pain also. The nudity believes her sense of helplessness that she was going through at the time of this painting. Now, talking about Vincent van Gogh, he was a Dutch painter. He was born in March 30th, 1853, and he took his life on July 29th, 1890. In his last paint, he actually painted how he was gonna die, expressing some of his pain. He was believed to have some old mental condition, shooting himself in the chest. He made his way back home to his brother, um, and two days later he died. Before he shoot himself, he uh, painted uh, the moment of how he was gonna die. And uh, in the paint, he entered a wheat field near the village outside of Paris. And uh, he painted this village or this uh, wheat field representing that. Since these two uh, artist created uh, self-portraits where they express their feeling. I created the uh, portrait I called Van Wolf. The reason I called it like that is because it's a combination of two words, vampire um, werewolf, in which I was inspired by Frida Kahlo and Vincent van Gogh make me or make a painting representing my own pain that marked my life. My mother passed away when I was 13 years old. The pain of losing her marked my whole life. When she died, I felt I also died with her. However, my life continued without her presence. Therefore, I identified myself with a vampire in which the vampires will know that they come back to life and I have to make my way back to life because of my sister. The werewolf in this painting represents my stepfather. Even though I know he did not kill my mom, I have always blamed her death on him. To be more specific, after my mother finding out his infidelities. She just wanted to die, even though she knew she had more reasons to live for. My stepfather and I never could get along. And in the Vampire Diaries, the werewolf and vampires 
do not get along or do not live together. That's another reason why I choose to be a vampire and representing my stepfather as a werewolf. The woman on the ground represents my mother, defenseless and not willing to fight for her life. If you look closer, she is facing the tree and the vampire. She died knowing that we could stay all alone without any protection. The tree in this painting represents my sister. She is a lot younger than I am. Indeed, she is stronger than I am. And her love gave me the strength to go on with life and recover from depression after my mother's death. The stars, the moon, represents that this event happened during at night time. Each star represents my uh, mother's family members and the moon represents the presence of my God in the moment my mom passed away. The mountains around the painting represents the hospital where this happened. And it's been over 20 years when my mom passed away and has marked my life that's another reason why the portrait is black and white. Thank you, and I hope you like my painting.